my southern africans can we just speak about a queen that we should all be glorifying as we do the kings of southern africa a queen who served as the regent of the ndebele matebele the senior wife of the king lobengula she descended from mpangazita the Subi warrior king having the status of a prime minister in the courts of king lobengula she was word of all the affairs of the kingdom not just a wife given royal privilege in stature she was powerful beautiful a justified master of everything wrong and right she was the sponsor and inspiration of the anglo ndebele war of 1896 keep in mind that this is supposed to be the first uprising against the british colonialists the main person who consulted her was Nyamande, son of King Lobengula, as she distributed Ibamu and very critical advice. Not only that, she led the troops into battle. She was known for her advanced thinking skills, her manipulation tactics, her remarkable strategies of conquer. When the wars were fought, she didn't only leave it at that. She held the nation down became the mother of everyone, understanding the post-traumatic outcome of going into war. Unfortunately, she met her death in 1919, when she contracted the Spanish influenza that depopulated the nations of Southern Africa. She also led a resistance during land dispossession. It was called the War of the Red Axe. Imfazo. Axes, the first Chimuranga War. The significance of her being a Zozo is because the Zozos were known as people with military expertise and fierce traditional healers. She played a huge role in overseeing the interactions of the white colonialists with the entire Ndebele nation. May we say her name, Queen Lozi Gay Zozo. She was known to say the words, Gungono ni zenzele which means it's better if I do it myself. Whew. Colonialists described her as a dangerous and yet intriguing woman. She told the story of the Ndebele peak power being right at the full moon. <laughs> when white people would come to the dance ceremonies, she would instruct her Ndebele people to kill every white colonialist they encountered. No questions asked. The Zebra Army of the Ndebeles memorialized her credentials in stone. Whew. 